Good evening, everybody. Sorry it's been a while since we've been on the GTO. As you've seen from a couple of the other videos, I was out of town last week, and then a uh, week before that, uh, Jeremy, my partner on the car, my nephew, uh, was moving to Alaska, so we kind of had a kind of had a busy week going on. So I hope everybody's good. We are back on the GTO. So something that was not fun, we just put the fender inner liner in. And I screwed it up, which pissed me off after I spent all this time getting the paint right on it and everything so it was the right satin. But uh, that's in. I'll have to touch that up now, which sucks. But uh, Joey and I, my youngest son, are going to do the pasture side. So it was frustrating, but we did get everything kind of lined up real well. Those of you guys that uh, know GTOs know that getting these fenders right is a pain in the butt. So we got the gap straight. Got all the bolts in properly. I'm going to have to fool this door a little bit. It's even, but it's too wide. So it might be the door. Um, we will get that straightened out. But the fender seems to be as far back as it needs to be. I do have one shim in right here. And that may be where we're off. Um, so I might take that out after we get the front other front fender on. But it's try, kind of hard to get it straight. That dimple is supposed to be there because that's for the uh, brakes, etc. that go in here. So if we get this other side done tonight, we will um, probably run the harness in here and just get it done because the harness goes down this uh, driver's side. So stick with us. So we got the fender off. Took about five minutes. Actually, this side's gone a lot better than the other one. And uh, we got it all bolted up. <clears throat> Ready to go back on. So we did a better job of keeping tra track of the shims and the bolts. We've got four that go here, one that goes in the door here, three or four that go under here. But we should be in pretty good shape this time versus uh, the hell that we went through last time on Tuesday night that I didn't want a video. <laughs> so we're back in this. We'll get this uh, video for you guys so you can see it going back on. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy with both of them. Right, don't flip it. One bad one, it was just, uh... All right. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a fender. Mm -hmm. Don't get the other line around. You got your brush? Yeah. You must slide it. You're going to go above it first. It's fine to take it out, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. No support on that type of work. Here, hit the fender line here. On your frame. Dead nuts here, you're off now. Okay, that's fine. I'm not talking about gap, I'm talking about bolt pattern. Right now, right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Thank you. 
Is that right, man? For way off. What's that? For way off and all the holes. Okay, just gotta get one. Joe, can you give me that couple light foot in there? Yep. Go ahead, I want you to drive around and show where it is. Sure, I'll tell you. See it? Yep. Brian, I can check there, you're closing you on. <laughs> so I said you're a night of a mess for you. Yeah, the nightmare here, I agree with that. They line up in some form or another. Mm -hmm. Wow, this one locked on the other side. Is that what they said? Uh -huh. I don't know why. Maybe it's locked on the other side. Thank you. 
Is that be something we did wrong over there? That's one thing I think of. Yeah, first one. Yeah, but it still shouldn't been that hard though. Unbelievable, Joe. I know it only took us three hours. Yeah, I'm running an hour in yet. Ryan, you missed it last one. <laughs> he was here. Well, you say you're here. Yeah. 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 You learned a little, right? Yeah. Bolts lined up. I mean, crazy. You see how this balance fits, Joe? It's perfect. What? This balance fits perfect. Good. And we fought with that one the other night. Yep. All these bolts are going right now. That's unbelievable. There's that fender installed, and I am very happy with that. Joint's pretty good. The gap at the bottom is perfect. Got this all in. Oh, I gotta put these two bolts in here. Um, but the gaps are very good here. Not right for here. Seems to be that's the GTO standard. And we gotta tighten the front bumper up. But other than that, that gets it done. That makes the whole engine bay look a lot more finished. So I might go ahead and drop the wire harness in because it goes in there. There's a piece that goes in here. It goes up there for the regulator and the ignition stuff. Uh, and then comes up here for the headlights. So I might drop that in just to get something else done tonight. And I noticed when Jeremy or somebody put the carburetor on, maybe it was me. You notice anything? At the end of the video, I'll show you what. Well, we're going to monkey with the electric here a little bit and try and lay in the uh, electric for the uh, front clip and the engine compartment. So we got a whole new kit from Pace Performance.
are done. What's that? I think I'll take my photo. Bring me out. Yeah. Bring your shoulder out. Yeah, just sitting there like that. The carpet's comfy. <clears throat> this carpet is comfy. I'm going to fall asleep and sit any longer. Sure you are. <laughs> I So we got the wire harness laid up. There's where it goes into the old interior harness or to the fuse box. Here is the front electric kit. They call it the forward lamp harness. I got all this from Ames Performance. So as you can see, this is the Left, head, left headlight signals, blinkers, running lights, and then this goes to the other side, which again, blinkers, headlights, turn signals, it all goes tucked up underneath here, and then this goes to the front of the motor, alternator wires, air conditioning harness, and then this goes to the... Um, Windshield wiper. I'm not sure what the other one goes to. Maybe they both go to the windshield wiper. And then this goes to the starter. This is the power of the starter, and this is the, for the key. And then we've got this side for the distributor. Uh, I think that's power for the distributor. So we'll figure that out, but uh, by golly, we're making leaps and bounds now with uh, every move. Feeling pretty good. It looks good now with the fender liners in it. Need to get them cleaned up. I'm going to put the heater box in over the weekend. And did you guys notice that the uh, carburetor was around backwards? This will give it away being on this side of it. So i got to turn that around. No big deal. The carburetor looks a little better on there the correct way. Guys, thanks for joining us tonight. Joey and I had a good time getting this stuff together. Brian next door, thank you for the help getting that fender on. We've got the electric uh, roughly run. And the uh, carburetor turned around and I did a, did a couple of little things, tying up some bolts and tightening some things up. Uh, we got the shocks on. So I'm going to put it on the ground this weekend. Uh, still got a problem with the drive shaft. I've got a problem with one of the U joints. I'm going to take that down to a uh, drive shaft shop here in St. Louis on Monday. But uh, I know I keep saying this, but I want to get it over to the other house. And uh, the uh, dash is supposed to be coming back. I got the tracking number from Just Dash as it's coming UPS and it's supposed to be delivered before 7 p.m. on Monday night. So I'm excited to get that. So I've got some cleanup to do on the underneath the wiring. That's why I wanted to get that uh, little housing in there for the fuse block done. And uh, we'll wipe down the rest of the wiring with some WD-40 and make that all pretty that goes underneath the dash. And uh, starting to get some things done here, guys. So it's going to be little nits and picks here and there with uh, little wiring stuff here and there. And got a little brake line stuff to do. I want to run some new brake lines for the front brake lines. Um, flush the fuel lines. The tank's cleaned out. But I'll uh, probably flush some, uh, some sort of tank cleaner through that and suck it back out again but uh, all is in good shape stay tuned please hit that like and subscribe button and please feel free to comment guys starting to get some subscribers here and i'd love to have your uh, support so please uh, hit that thumbs up button let uh, youtube know that you're watching the videos talk to you guys soon thanks